Hi guys, good afternoon. It is Monday the 9th of September. I cannot believe we're in September, guys. Like, what? Second week of September, that's crazy. Anyway, I don't know what's going on with my braids. Look at the curls that I was talking about. Why do they look so matted? This is the only thing I don't like about braids. and I literally take it out in two weeks. It's disgusting. I went to the gym this morning, I did an upper body workout, I didn't really vlog and to be very honest I don't vlog at the start of the month, I've noticed because I just feel like I'll be getting so tired, like it's a lot to be an adult, <laughs> I needed a break from the camera and all of that but honestly this week I've been thinking about my, well not my podcast but the She Devotions podcast and honestly I've been, I've just been not doing anything in regards to like my fitness content my podcast you know like just no I really need to take my podcast seriously like I was doing short videos every Sunday and then I stopped I really need to get on it and I feel like it will also push me to be in my word more I was looking at some podcast studios because I really want to like make this proper do you get it like I don't want to just be doing whatever obviously the with the short videos I think I'm gonna do it in my art in my room because I really like the aesthetics of it it's really cute um it gives like cozy vibes so, so I'm gonna have segments of the podcast obviously I want to do bible study so I'm gonna have that segment and then I'm gonna have the transparency talks so yeah I'm looking forward to it so I was looking at some podcast venues where I'm at um, and then there's this one that I saw and the price was actually okay. Okay, so they've responded. I didn't even put in my card details, but it looks like they've responded. That was fast. Okay, I booked it for this Friday at 6.30 to 7.30 and hopefully I can get stuff done. I don't want it to be really long. Eventually I'm going to get guests on the podcast, but I really want to take it seriously. So I am going to respond to him happy friday i look crazy guys my nail came off imagine it's only been three weeks why is it coming off <laughs> anyway let's let's not talk about how i look but i'm so 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 excited today i have a studio or i have a studio space podcast space booked for today and i have been looking for a space for months i have a booking today at 6 30 um it's quite far it's like an hour away um i'm gonna record two videos one's gonna be 35 minutes and another one's gonna be like maybe 20 20 minutes 20 25 minutes so that would be like 60 minutes i believe so yeah making use of my full hour he's got lights he's got camera he's got everything that i need so all i need to do is literally take my bible take my ipad and he said he has lights but i'm just gonna bring my lights just in case <gasps> i'm so excited i'll see you guys soon and cheerio so i have finished doing my makeup it is four o'clock i'm meant to leave at 4 45 um <laughs> i don't know guys <laughs> Um, I've recorded my pyjama girl diaries like you can see so I'm about to, not me, I'm about to change the camera. I'm about to get changed and maybe make some food, I don't know, I don't think I'll have time to make food. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I'm ready to literally dip. Um, I just need to kind of clean up a little bit and then go make some food. But yeah, the recording went well, I think it was good. So this afternoon has just been full of content but thank god for his messages my makeup came out cute nothing crazy i look i feel really girly i feel really cute so let's make our way to the studio i'll speak to you guys soon hi guys so i just got here it's currently I'm actually early it's nine past six i just got to the studio that's the studio over there 
It looks nice. It looks well put together. Let me show you guys. That's the studio. Um, I did get a bit lost. Obviously, I'm really hungry as well. And my makeup, I feel like it's just all over the place. So I'm going to touch up. Um, I'm going to press the bell and then go in and touch up. Because I'm like, girl, I'm like five minutes early. So perfect timing. I'm glad I didn't stop in town to get some food. I did grab something quickly from Asda. So I'm really like, okay for now. And then I'll eat when I get home. Um, but what do I do? Do I press the buzzer? Like, oh, yep. Hello. Hi, this is Mimi. so fun I just feel at home I haven't come on camera since I recorded I don't know when it was I think when I went to do my podcast shoot it has been a couple of days. I did my podcast shoot on Friday. <sighs> a lot has happened. A lot has happened, honestly, guys. And I've been in such a little mood. I got my files on Saturday. He sent them on Saturday. And honestly, guys, I didn't even tell you about the studio. The studio was so nice. The guy was so nice. But when I was booking, basically, he didn't tell me the options that I had. So I just, because it was the first, it was my first ever time I booked a podcast studio. He didn't tell me the options that I had. So I just kind of booked whatever. I just booked a solo, obviously, because it was just me for that episode. I just booked a solo one. And I didn't know, like, I needed him in the studio to kind of, like, live edit he calls it like a producer package so i just booked like a, the mic and the studio and then and the lights obviously everything came with it and then he sent the files one of them obviously i had two cameras one of them from my side was perfect like focus 4k chef kiss can't complain the other one completely not focused blurred out so two videos that i recorded are completely gone to waste i tried to like go on da vinci response i tried to do my little touch on adobe creative cloud nothing worked like yesterday i was stressed like and i messaged him he's like oh i'm so sorry like obviously i'm not saying it was completely him but he's like yeah i should have given you that option before you booked because obviously i'm a new customer as well like oh i blame both of us oh. <laughs> Okay, I personally think this is kind of ordained by God as well. I don't think I believe because before I went to the podcast studio, the Holy Spirit told me that I was going to evangelize to this guy. And I didn't, <laughs> sometimes we really need to listen to the Holy Spirit because when I think about these, this thing, yeah, it makes me laugh. In my mind, the Holy Spirit was, I, okay, this was me thinking to myself, but now I know it's the Holy Spirit, right? I was thinking, mm, what if I go and the guy's sitting there and he's listening to, you know, the content that I'm recording and it um, evangelizes to him or it speaks to him and then he asks me about my faith and all of that. And I was like, mm, I wonder how that's going to go. I went there and the guy said to me, he wasn't sat in, in the recording, which is what he's going to do moving forward. He's going to sit inside the recording and live edit as I'm recording. So, oh my gosh. So I got there and <laughs> he said, you know what? I'm going to go sit downstairs. When you're done, I'll come up. So he comes up when I'm finished. Obviously, I'm guessing he had like a bit of what I was saying because, you know, I was talking so he comes upstairs and he's like, oh, what's your content? What's your podcast about? And I was like, 
I'm Christian. I do Christian based content. So pretty much all about Jesus. <laughs> That's all I said. And he was like, Oh, okay. He's like, Oh, cool. And I was like, Do you believe, like, do you have a religion? Do you believe in, do you believe in Christ? He's like, No. You know, he was just telling me his background. Like he's, he was, he grew up in a Catholic school and all of that. And he's like, Oh, but I've got a cross. I wear it from my nan. I was like, Oh, okay. You see, me, sometimes I don't like to force and be extra but you know what i when i came home i just knew i didn't do enough in terms of preaching the gospel and evangelizing obviously this is the first time i met him i could have done more obviously i asked him why and all of that but i feel like okay let me just plant a seed in his head of who i am because we were getting along on a business level and he was really kind so i was like okay let me have conversation i like were talking about family and all of that so now that I know he's not Christian, next time I go, I'll have to do more, if you know what I mean. And when I got home, <laughs> as soon as I saw that blurred out video, the Holy Spirit told me, you are going to have to go back. I said, golly, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I'm not even making this up. I can't make this up. He said, you're going to have to go back. And I was so annoyed because I was like, I've wasted money. But this is what I mean. You need to listen to the Holy Spirit because if I did, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have wasted money. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back. Like when I tell you, I tried everything so that I don't have to go back to record. But whatever it is, I'm still gonna have to go back, and he's still gonna have to hear my content when I record. Because moving forward, he's gonna be sat in with me when I'm recording. So I was like, God, you're so funny. But you're not at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Like, Hi guys, so we just got to Leeds. Well, we didn't just get to Leeds, we got to Leeds about 30 minutes ago, I'd say. Um, no, not even, maybe like 20. So we got to our hotel, it's cool. We're staying at the Clayton Hotel. It's not too bad, honestly. The room's really pretty. I'll show you guys in a minute. But we were meant to get to Leeds at three. Tell me why we got here at four. The coach drivers were having smoke breaks all the time and it was really irritating. But we finally got here, six hour journey. Ah, long day. So we're gonna get ready, maybe have a quick munch and then go. Oh, I need to call my friend because she's also in Leeds so we can go together. But yeah, let me show you guys the hotel or the room, should I say. So this is where we booked. It's actually a really, I've never stayed in this hotel actually. So it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. This is, it's just like a little you know, sitting area. We have two beds, one big bed and one single. I haven't seen the toilet, it's but. Not bad. Okay, it's all right. It's it's quite big for a hotel, I'd say. So yeah, the toilet. Nothing's too crazy. To be fair, we're just sleeping. Like we're not even gonna be here most of the time. So we're like, let's just get whatever. It's not too close to town. It's like ten minutes on the bus, 
but that's fine to be very honest like we're not here all the time so yeah but i'll speak to you guys when we're ready i don't know if i'm gonna take my camera if they'll allow me so i'm gonna take my phone because i know how these places can be with cameras and stuff but i need to do my hair my edges and ugh, i need to figure it out because i need i even want to take this hair out to be very honest but yeah i'll speak to you guys soon <laughs> It is because of him that we have witnessed oppressed people deliver him. But the question is, who is Jesus? Hi guys, good morning. It's day two of the Koinonia, what is it, Sound of Revival Conference. My face is shiny because we're getting ready to leave. It's currently 7 a.m. We have to go now because it starts at 9 and we're trying to get breakfast and get good seats before it starts. I'm looking forward to today. Today is going to be a very long day. Today is going to be a very long day, but I'm looking forward to it um yesterday was really good it was the word was short but sweet mm. but it was really really helpful we did i think it was more yeah. mostly on who is jesus the very purpose rich. of jesus yeah very rich in scripture as well so i recorded some i think i'll go back and study some notes and stuff like um this is the outfit of the day nothing crazy just my blue shirt black um vest and some jeans mm -hmm. and i'm gonna wear my trainers say hi hi guys so <laughs> yeah it looks cold because it's early so i'm gonna take my coat i don't really want to i'm gonna take this off i'll just lay my edges but this is how i honestly need to take i need to take my hair out we have to go i'm tying my our feet done and it's only we haven't even done a day one so yeah see you guys in it. Okay. <laughs> See you guys in a few. Guys, look at this queue. We got here. We thought we got here early. <laughs> this is funny. Please. Twenty minutes later, while I was listening to favor provoking prayer. Twenty minutes later, the manager called and said. There is something about you. I would like to work with you. I have a new role coming up, the same level. Are you interested? I didn't want to sound so excited. Um, 
where do I start from? I want to just take this moment out and really appreciate my spiritual father. Thank you so much for being here for this great opportunity to be here. And then it is my first time in the UK. guys ignore forgive me for the crustiness but we are in derby you won't believe what happened i don't think i even spoke to you guys yesterday about the conference but i'll recap when we get home Ugh, you won't believe what happened we left at 11 40 around 11 40 leaves we left that time and then we when we got to Sheffield, everyone was calm, everyone was cool, we're on our way, the coach came on time. We were meant to get to Bristol at 5.30, but right now it's 3.20, I would say. Again, ignore the, I like, I'm traveling, you get it? I'm traveling, so I'm looking real crusty. And we are in Derby, and the driver has stopped because he wants to take a lunch break. Now, I don't see nothing wrong with that because there was a lot of traffic from Sheffield to Derby. And you know, Sheffield to Derby ain't that far. It's literally like maybe an hour and 30. Bro, 3.20, where he's like, he's going to take 45 minute break. 45 minutes. So now we're stuck here for the next 10 minutes. He's already taken about 20 or so. We're stuck here for the next 10 to 15 minutes and we're waiting so i just we're literally at a shell station just here waiting and yeah there's the bus literally just waiting till he's ready he's so rude guys jesus saved me because but i was like you know what let's just step out for some fresh air get a drink uh, I feel like I haven't been on camera for so long and I actually haven't. <laughs> I've been, oh my God, look at me. I haven't been on camera since last weekend when we got back from Leeds and guys, Ononia conference. I just want to say mind blowing. God bless everyone that went. God bless everyone that served. God bless because it was a lot of people. God bless the ushers. God, it was really amazing. Like it was hectic and we were tired. And like you saw in other clips, the travel was long. Gosh, the travel. <laughs> <laughs> the travel was long we're actually meant to be going to leeds again in october but my sister and i were like wow we can't do this again if it was like two months apart we would but we we're like nah we, we actually can't do this again anyway i i look a mess 
um my hair is about a month old i believe so i need to take it out like this is probably the longest i've had braids why am i shouting today is friday the 27th i'm trying to take out my hair i was meant to take it out yesterday i hate taking out braids because it just takes so long but i'm trying to get it done maybe during my lunch break wash my hair and then braid it into cornrows um at least because tomorrow i want to go get my nails done and you know braiding your hair with nails is just not it like i want to go get my nails done my eyebrows done i just want to have a little girly day ew <laughs> that was so bristolian i have prayers at seven it's currently 12 so i'm hoping i could have some time i'm about to put something to watch basically and just take my hair out before i go i forgot to say I got something from Amazon and I'm really, really excited because the Holy Spirit has been prompting me for months. When I say months, it's months to buy this book because I've, in my mind, I've been complaining. I need to learn how to evangelize properly. I need to, you know, I'll read more. Girl. I got it. I got it. I'm so excited to read this book. Like, yeah. So this is Preston Perry's How to Tell the Truth. And it's more of evan it's more on evangelism. The story of how God saved me to win hearts and not just arguments. So I think that's a good, that's even just a good thing. Cause I feel like a lot of us, including me, when we're trying to win souls for Christ, it turns into an argument rather than you, you know, breaking down the gospel and preaching just pure gospel in relation to what that person is going through and how Christ loves them regardless. Back to game I done. It's Saturday, the, oh girl, I don't even know what to, I think it's the 28th today. Yeah, it's the 28th today. We're edging to the end of the month and the end of this vlog, but today was meant to be, well, today's my maintenance day. Um, I, I was meant to wake up around, it's always these ends. I was meant to wake up around 8 to get ready to go to town, get my nails done, my eyebrows done, even with Sandy, we were meant to go, you know, get our eyebrows done, but like I said yesterday, I think, we have choir rehearsals at um, 12, it's currently 10.40, I think, so I don't think I can get my nails done because you know how nail shops are, you, you'll probably be in the queue for like an hour and this is a new nail shop that I want to try in town so I don't know, it's either we're gonna go after rehearsals to do our eyebrows and then because I have a lot of things to buy as well so right now I'm still going to town even though it's rehearsal starts at like 12 I'll get to town for about quarter past 11 and then I think there's a new acai bowl place that I want to try and there's also a new bubble tea place but I'm gonna go after rehearsals for that one on my way back home that I want to try so I'm going to the acai place I think it's called oak berry or something so I'm gonna try that the weather's really nice but it's still a bit cold to get it twisted this is the UK so yeah I'm feeling okay I'm feeling good it's a good day today um I'm a bit hot though because I'm rushing to go catch the bus but I'm not even rushing like that because I still got time um I think we're gonna be in rehearsals for a few hours at least maybe till three or four o'clock <sighs> so I just want to eat I think there's gonna be food but I do really want to try this acai bowl this is my first time I'm gonna try an acai bowl so yeah I'm really looking forward to it and then after rehearsals i'm gonna go and do my eyebrows guys look at my eyebrows like this is ridiculous they need to be studied okay i think it's been over a month since i got my eyebrows done so i really really need to get them done i thought i could go two months but hey what's this heat jesus god give us some breeze anyway i feel like i'm talking too much I'll talk to you guys when I get to that IE place. Bye. So, 
I got a massive one. I got strawberries, blueberries, almonds, honey, crunchy granola, natural yogurt, and peanut butter. So. So good. That acai bowl was so good, but it's made me a bit cold. Anyway, I'm in Sports Direct. I'm trying to find some gym trainers because mine are done out. Um, I'm seeing a few for like £48, so I might get that. I'm thinking the Nike ones up there. I think those would be good because I'm a size 5 and I think these are junior sizes I'm not too sure I know some shops don't allow you to record so I'm gonna put my camera away because I hate recording and people just kind of staring at you trying to tell you to put your camera away so I'm gonna find it and then I'll come back with camera <laughs> It is currently seven o'clock. I just got home, literally just getting home now. After Sports Direct, I went straight to rehearsals. Took forever. We didn't finish till like four. So after rehearsals, me, Sandy and Ella, you know, me and the girls, we went to town because we had a few things to like do and buy. Got my eyebrows done. Um, I have a bit of a spot here, but that's from ages ago. She did okay this time normally i don't really trust her like i have to like tell her what to do that woman i always argue with her about my eyebrows also got my nails done i just feel complete like i got them quite short nothing crazy like i want to show you guys the trainers that i got for the gym i got some nikes for the gym i feel like these are okay I, they're not my favorite but i like the color they're air maxes but they're invigor 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 <laughs> invigor in vigor let's just say that also <laughs> i got chopsticks i'm obsessed with stir fries chopsticks anything asian food thai food japanese korean anything asian it goes down really well <gasps> i got some bubble tea guys i'm about to relax i've had a really really long week i'm a, i'm currently watching on netflix monsters yeah if you know me you know i don't really do the like thriller scary movie but i love serial killer stuff the lyle menan no not menan is it menandez or hernandez i think it's menandez lao menandez and eric menandez story where they killed their parents just go watch it is on netflix it's called monsters i didn't watch jeffrey dharma i never watched jeffrey dharma because he was eating people that's not my type of thing but this one is a bit more relaxed it's more like core i'll speak to you guys tomorrow bye good morning guys today is sunday i'm off to church i got a little cute outfit on i wore this jumper that my mum gave to me with my jeans honestly i had a whole different outfit planned i wanted to do my makeup which is how i have this lip <laughs> i wanted to do my makeup and everything but guys it's 12 o'clock i need to set off to church um my sister's already gone ahead so i'm gonna meet her there but yeah today is sunday and i'm going to end the vlog here it's pretty much the last day of september i would say tomorrow's the last day but i'm counting this as my last day so ready to go to church i feel cute i feel simple i had like i said i had a whole different outfit um planned and i just kind of put my hair up because i felt like you know turtleneck but I would like to thank you guys if you've got to this point in the vlog. I want to say thank you so, 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 so much for watching this vlog. I know that September wasn't as crazy as August or the rest of the months that went past. Because obviously, you know, the weather's getting colder. Everyone's in the house. 
me is everyone everyone is me i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i want to say thank you so much for watching god bless you and have a good october yeah have a good october have a great month may god usher you into the new month with blessings divine protection and prosperity we thank god for his goodness and i will see you in my next vlog don't forget to like don't forget to comment because it does push the video out and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here you're welcome and if you are a returning subscriber i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye